for the first time in five years, Julie Andrews has returned to her native soil to work in a film. She co-stars with Max von Sydow and Alan Bates in the film version of Tom Kempinski's play, Duet for One. Oh, do we have to go any further? I feel as if we've been walking for weeks. Ah, uh, oh, just a little just bit further. Oh, Poor what? Louis, every time he comes down here, I drag him out. But this time, instead of being directed by her husband, Blake Edwards, she'll be taking cues from runaway train director, Andrei Konchalovsky. For the first week, we kind of walked around each other and got to know each other. But I do have such respect for him, and, and uh, he is so good that it's very easy to place yourself in, in his hands. He asks very difficult things at times, but then he is so wonderful in that he shows you how to find them and how to do them, and gives you the time to do them. And so... Um, Although it's hard, it's, uh, it's terribly pleasurable as well. Tell me how you researched your role. It deals with multiple sclerosis, after all. I was fortunate enough to go here in England to a wonderful center for uh, multiple sclerosis down in Bromley in Kent. And uh, they welcomed me there. I was a little shy about going because everyone there has the illness and I thought that I would maybe appear somewhat like a voyeur and, and it didn't seem fair to look in on on their uh, problems and so on but they were so pleased that I cared to ask questions and that I wanted to go and find out and I got a lot of hints that day little things that helped a lot well simple I mean as simple as uh, a lady with MS if her hands were giving her a very bad time she wouldn't just pick up a cup she'd have to have both hands around the cup and on top of that you had to learn to play the violin or do you play, <laughs> do you, do you play the violin have you, as a child well no I never touched the instrument in my life until I started to work on it for this film and it was killingly difficult not only for me but for everyone in the vicinity because I made such excruciating noises but I, I now have the most enormous respect for the instrument.